of Richardson High School in Richardson, Texas. As a reminder, if you have a question for Kaysen, just use the raise your hand function and we will call you out to get your questions answered, but we can start with Create Space Media. Hey, Case and Tony with Create Space Media. Uh, they have five guys from the Dallas-Fort Worth area here at the McDonald's All-American Game. I don't know if that's a record, but it should be. Uh, tell me what it's like since, uh, you know, you guys kind of grew up together playing. How has da Dallas uh, crafted your game? Uh, it's a good feeling knowing that my guys that I grew up with playing against, playing with, uh, we're all here together. So just being on the same team together, unfortunately, we don't have one of our guys, but it's a good feeling. And a follow-up question. Um, one of those guys, Anthony Black, you guys had, I think you were right, you guys and many uh, were ranked number one and they were ranked number two. And you guys played against each other. And he was at the time um, uh, ruled ineligible, but in like the fourth quarter, he was able to come in. What was that like? Just having him come in in the middle of the game? Uh, actually, I was happy for him. He had a, a tough time throughout the whole season with what his situation a lot of people know about, but just seeing him get on the court and do what he did, it was it felt good for me, honestly, just to see him be able to play. Awesome, awesome. Last question for you. Uh, I know your brother has played a big role uh, in your development. Can you kind of walk us through, you know, what, you know, your brother being by your side has, uh, has meant for you? Uh, it means everything. He's been there. He's the reason why I started playing basketball. I started playing basketball on his AAU team. Uh, playing up so just watching him and how hard he worked he dragged me to the gym even when I didn't want to uh, till this day he gave me tips and pointers about how I should go about the game of basketball he's done great things throughout his career so I model I model my game after him a little bit thank you so much thank let's you. go to Zach Gagan Hey, Kaysen, Zach Gagan with Kentucky Sports Radio. I talked to Chris Livingston earlier, your future teammate at Kentucky, and uh, he was saying that this is your all's first time getting to meet each other. Just want to, you know, maybe give us your first impressions of him as a person and maybe uh, what you know about his game on the floor and, and, and what you are most looking forward to playing with him at Kentucky. Uh, as a person, he's a cool dude. Uh, we've been talking a little trash since we got here, but <laughs> we know we're going to have to team up in the future, so seeing his game, having to guard him uh, yesterday in the scrimmage, it was pretty cool, but I'm ready to get to that dog mentality. You know, we both, we both dogs on the court. So being able to play alongside with him, it'll be a good, a good experience. Have, have you all talked about maybe what you plan to do at Kentucky together once you get there, maybe on the floor? Uh, we haven't talked about that, but we both have common goals. I'm pretty sure we both want to go far into our college season and get out of there as soon as possible. Thank you. Thanks. Jack Pilgrim. Yeah, Kaysen, uh, Jack Pilgrim with Kentucky Sports Radio. Just uh, disappointing way to end the season for Kentucky, but uh, what were those conversations like after the season with Coach Cal, kind of his vision for you, and uh, uh, I guess just your excitement overall to be in Lexington uh, sooner rather than later? Uh, they had a pretty good season following up after – you know, that COVID year where they struggled a little more than this year, but it was more about how we're going to go about my career at Kentucky, getting me enrolled in school and when I got to go there, um, how our workouts are going to be, things like that, you know, just regular conversation. What role uh, did, did he say that he has for you and what you kind of uh, hope to envision yourself at, at, at Kentucky? He just told me to go be a player. I'm going to be on the court. Uh, numbers don't really matter. It's just a spot that you got to be in. So uh, being able to go out there and be myself is something that I'm glad to have. Appreciate it. Thank you. Jamie Shaw. Hey, what's up, Casey? Jamie Shaw here with On3. Um, you're a player that people like to play with, that people kind of follow and a leader and stuff. Who are some guys that you're on the phone with trying to trying to get to come to Kentucky with you right now? Uh, right now, nobody. I'm not a recruiter. I'm a, I'm a player. I'm not really a good recruiter, I should say. I got you. 
All right, Kason, can you talk a little bit about what it means to you to be a McDonald's All-American and how you found out about this news? It means everything to me. It's something that I've dreamed about my whole life. Uh, my cousin made me write down goals that I wanted, and that was the first thing I wrote down. So being able to be here and play and show everybody what I'm capable of is it's a very special moment for me. Zach, did you have another question? Yeah, uh, Kason, I know you kind of uh, picked Kentucky right before uh, National Signing Day there. Just what was what was kind of the, the, the one thing that really pushed it over and, and made Kentucky the, the choice for you? Uh, their legacy, and it's always been a dream of mine. I like to stick to my path, and if I put my mind to something, I want to go and get it. So I went and got it, so it wasn't – it was kind of a no-brainer for me. Um, I wanted it. I went and got it. So why not just – you know, go ahead and go there. What what made Kentucky kind of, you know, the, the program that you wanted to get them? I've seen the type of players they put into the league. Um, I see how the players they put into the league stick in the league. And that's what I want to be. I want to stick into the league for many years. I think we can take one last question from Jack. Yeah, Kaysen, is there a, a pressure, I guess, after the way the season ended this past year, uh, you know, Kentucky fans being angry and, and just kind of the uh, backlash that some of them got this past season, uh, I guess, to to make a run in the NCAA tournament and it just kind of is that something you're looking forward to, that, that pressure uh, that comes with being kind of in the spotlight at Kentucky? Uh, yes, pressure is everything for me. I like pressure, really. Uh, pressure is who I am. I've been – dealing with pressure my whole life. So I'm good for a little challenge. You know, adversity is pretty good. So just doing what I'm capable of and showing the fans and supporters that we'll go, we'll go pretty far next year. All right, that concludes our session with Kaysen Wallace. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Kaysen. And we'll be back in a couple minutes.